It's time for person, place, or thing. Our first player is Michael, and his favorite person is Captain Catherine Janeway. Our second player is Daryl, and his favorite place is downtown Dallas. And our third player is Danielle, and her favorite thing is her Golden Girl collection. And now, because she has the reflexes and the dress sense of a cheetah, our host, Melissa Peterman. Welcome to Person, Place, Your Thing, the only show where the players are the ones asking the questions. And if they ask me the right ones, they're going to go home with cash and prizes. And playing with me today, I've got three fine competitors who are here to battle it out for a shot to win our grand prize of $5,000. And back for a fifth consecutive day. It's our returning champion, Daryl, who's won over $10,000 in cash and prizes, and he's hoping to make it back to that final round to add another $5,000 to his winnings. But I'm guessing that Danielle and Michael are looking to start a winning streak of their own. Are you ready to get started? Yeah. Yes. Yes, me too. In our first round, we are going to play each category, a person, a place, and a thing. You may ask me yes or no questions, and I will be giving you clues. Let's go. Well, hi, hey. Daryl. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Melissa? I'm doing great. Five days, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. Thanks for bringing donuts to the staff oh, meeting yeah. this morning. That was great. You bet. You bet. You guys deserved it. Yeah. Well, let's get started. <laughs> our first category in this round is going to be our person category. And I can tell all of you that this person is a fictional character. All right. Is this fictional character primarily known from a movie? Yes. Primarily known from a movie. Hi, Danielle. Hi. Welcome to Person, Place, or Thing. Thank you. Is this fictional character over the age of 60? No. Mm -mm. Hi, Michael. Hi. How I'm are you? Doing good. How are you doing? Welcome to Person, Place, or Thing. Thank you for having me. Okay, well, we've got a fictional character, okay. not over 60. Okay. Is this fictional character in comedies? Yes. In comedies. Time for a clue. Get your buzzers out. This fictional character lives in a swamp. Danielle, is it Shrek? It is a Shrek. Yay! Out of the gate. Well done. 100 points to you. Thank you. Who doesn't love Shrek? <laughs> OK, our next category is our place category. And I can let you all know that this place is a venue. Is this venue located in California? Yes, it is. Michael. Yes. Is this venue outdoors? No, it's not. Daryl. Is this venue in Southern California? Yes, it is. Time for a clue. Get those buzzers back out. This cinema is famous for hosting movie premieres. Danielle. Is it the Chinese theater on Hollywood Boulevard? I'm sorry, would you also like to give us a zip code and where to park? <laughs> All right, 200 points out of the gate. Thank you. Daryl. It's mm, good. It's good, very good. good. OK, Michael, we're going to start off with you this okay. time. This is our thing category. I can tell you that this thing is technology. Is this thing in an office? Uh, yeah, it can be used in the office, okay? okay. Daryl. Can I touch this thing? Not with that restraining order. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, can you touch this thing? I'm going to say no. Danielle. Is it battery operated? No, it's not. Time for a clue. Buzzer's out. This website started as a Stanford research project called Backrub. Daryl. Uh, Craigslist? No, but that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, you are out until I give another clue. OK, Michael. Yes. Do not get a back rub on <laughs> Craigslist. OK. Uh, did this website have classified ads? No. Mm-mm. Daryl, you are out for that whole back rub situation. So, <laughs> Danielle. Does this website at any time invite you to enter credit card information? 
No. No. Okay, time for a clue. Get your buzzers out. This search engine's parent company, Alphabet, has been valued as high as two trillion. Daryl. Is it Google? It is Google. <laughs> All right, fantastic round, everybody. Danielle is in the lead with 200 points. Daryl right behind at 100. Michael's not on the board yet, but up next, we got more great questions and even greater clues when we come back on Person, Place, or Thing. Google it! Do you want to learn more about our show and meet today's super fan? Use your smartphone to scan the QR code in the corner of your screen, and you will not only meet today's super fan, Melissa, but you're going to get access to behind the scenes fun and bonus content. Welcome back to Person, Place, or Thing. I didn't hear you complain about that back rub when I told you the price, Melissa Peterman. 50 cents was overpriced, Jamie. <laughs> we have a great game here, Danielle, in the lead with 200 points. Daryl right behind with 100. Michael's not on the board yet, but it's time for round two. We play round two the same as our first round, except we're going to double the points, and you get to pick the category that we're playing. Michael, since you're behind, we're going to let you kick it off. So... What category would you like to play? Person, place, or thing? I would like to choose place. Place. Okay. This place is a tourist attraction. Does this place have theme park rides? No, it does not. Daryl. I think you know what I'm gonna ask. I know, is it in? <laughs> <laughs> is it in the Eastern Hemisphere? Okay. It is not. <laughs> you guys just got here. This is one of Daryl's favorite <laughs> questions. Is it in the Eastern Hemisphere? Okay. Danielle. Is this a destination that is in the United States? Yes, it is. Time for a clue. Get your buzzers out. This famous park is home to a meadow named for actor Robin Williams. Michael? What is Central, uh, Central Park? It is not Central Park, which means you're out until I give another clue, okay? Daryl. Is this park a national park? No, it is not. Danielle. Does this park's name start between the letters A and L in the alphabet? Yes, it does. Okay, we have to skip you, Michael, for oh. a question, but it's time for a clue, so get your buzzers out. Beatle George Harrison played an impromptu concert at Hippie Hill here in 1967. Danielle. Is it Griffith Park? It is not Griffith Park. Hmm. Great guess. That means you're out until I give another clue. Michael. Yes. Yes. Is this park on the East Coast? No, it's not. Daryl. This is a technical. Okay. Is this <laughs> park? Do I need a pen? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Is this park in longitude north of Wichita, Kansas? What? <laughs> so longitude. <laughs> what, so you got latitude? <laughs> I understand that part. I'm going to say that your question is, is this place north of Wichita, Kansas? That might be, yeah, that might be the more simpler. I feel like you just want to say words like longitude. <laughs> to like make I, sure that everyone in America knows how smart you are. And I we mean, do know that. Well, I'm going to tell you, uh, Daryl, because I'm also very, very smart. Um, and not only because I've got people that can research for me. Uh, the answer <laughs> is yes. Okay. Yes. And Danielle, you are out for a question, but it's time for a clue. So get those buzzers out. This is your third and final clue. It's the largest park in San Francisco. What? I've been there too. Of course, I think you probably, we've all been there. Been it's there. a Golden Gate oh. Park. Oh. Golden Gate oh. Park. No points for anybody there. Okay, Daryl, your turn to pick the category. What would you like to play? Person, place, or thing? Um, I feel like I gotta redeem myself there. Let's go place again. <laughs> place again. Okay, this place is an international city. 
Is it in the Eastern Hemisphere? Yes, Daryl, it is in the Eastern Hemisphere. It is in the Eastern Hemisphere, Danielle. Do they speak English primarily? No, English is not the primary language in this international city. Michael. Is this international city in Asia? No, it is not. Time for a clue, get your buzzers out. It's near the Pyramids of Giza and the Great Sphinx. Daryl? Uh, Cairo? Redemption is yours, yes. my friend. <laughs> Did it. 200 Fun points fact. to you, and it is Cairo. Well done, well done. Danielle, your turn to pick the category. What would you like to play, person, place, or thing? I'm gonna play person. Person, okay. This person is a TV personality. Okay. okay. Is this person a man? Yes. Okay. Yes. Michael. Is this person a comedian? Yes. Daryl. Is this person on a show that is still airing? Yes. Time for a clue. Buzzers out. This person is a British comedian and TV host. Danielle. Is it John Oliver? It is John Oliver. Well done. 200 points Thank to you. you. We've got a fantastic game going on here. Danielle is in the lead with 400 points. Daryl right behind at 300. Michael is not on the board yet, but that could change. Up next, a speed round, and we're gonna see who's gonna walk away a winner on person, place, or thing. Welcome back to Person, Place, or Thing, the show that's not afraid to ask, can I touch this thing? <laughs> We ask all the questions other people are afraid to. We've got a great game here. Danielle in the lead with 400 points. Daryl right behind at 300. Michael, not on the board yet, but Michael, I'm telling you right now, that could all change in 90 seconds because it's time for the speed round. So get your buzzers right. ready. Yes. I'm gonna be reading you a series of clues about a person, a place, or a thing. You think you know it, buzz in. If you're right, you got 500 points. If you're wrong, you are out, but just until the next category. There are a lot of points up for grabs here. It is still anybody's game. Is everybody ready? Yes. yes. Okay, Jamie, put 90 seconds on the clock, please. I ate whoever's cheesecake was in the break room. Come on, that was mine. <sighs> You guys ready? Good luck, everybody. Time starts now. This biblical figure was the father of Ham, uh, Daryl. Abraham? No, Shem and Japheth. He's the hero of a famous Old Testament story. Michael. Noah. Yes. This place changed its name two years after it opened. It's modeled after similar locations in Orlando and Tokyo. It's the most visited theme park in Europe. Danielle. Disneyland Paris? Yes. This thing is a popular snack with children and babies. In some recipes, it can be used as a substitute for oil or butter. Danielle. Applesauce. Yes. This iconic location was sold for $100 million in 2016. This 22,000 square foot home has its own zoo with monkeys and peacocks. Danielle. Is it Neverland Ranch? It is not. This Los Angeles residence was named for a magazine founded in 1953. It was a longtime home of Hugh Hefner. Michael. Where's Playboy Mansion? Yes, this person is an American model. She's modeled for Bulgari, Fendi, and Victoria's Secret. She has siblings named Gigi and Anwar. Danielle. Bella Hadid. Yes. This 2010 sci-fi thriller explores the boundaries between dreams and reality. Leonardo, Daryl. Um, what is, oh, it's time. Leonardo DiCaprio plays a thief. Michael. Inception. Yes. This thing is a flowering plant. It is known for large blossoms that can reach up to 10 inches in diameter. It has long been a favorite theme in Chinese art. They're Ooh. often used in summer wedding bouquets. Anyone? Peony, which I love so much. Okay, that was a phenomenal round. Uh, Michael, you were very close, but guess what? There is a new champ in town. Congratulations, Danielle. You are moving on to play for $5,000 in our final round. Daryl, I mean, five days together. How much fun did we have? I 
most fun I've ever had I, in my life. I don't know. Really? I'll take it. I'll take it. Well, Daryl, I hope you had a lot of fun. You had $10,000 in cash, a fantastic hotel stay, and we truly loved having you being here. You were so much, you were just always happy, and we love that. Michael loved having you as well, and you know what? We are not going to send you home empty-handed, so Jamie, tell them what they've got. Buttercloth's new icy cotton shirts are infused with the patented cooling power of organic mint fibers. Shark Tank investor Robert Herjavec says they make you look like a Friday night and feel like a Sunday morning. Visit buttercloth.com. All right, and thank you again, Daryl. Thank you, Michael. Congrats, Danielle. You are moving on to play for $5,000 in our final round, sponsored by Slotomania. Jamie, tell them about it. Promotional consideration provided by Slotomania, the number one free slots game. Download Slotomania now and get one million free coins. Stick around to see if Danielle is going to win $5,000. We will be back right after this. Now it's your turn to play. Scan the QR code to win this amazing prize. Wyndham Grand Clearwater Beach Resort fronts one of the world's most desirable beaches with a sophisticated and elegant decor, spa, and multiple restaurants. WyndhamRewards.com, the world's number one hotel rewards program. Welcome back to the final round of Person, Place, or Thing. I'm standing here with Danielle, who's about to play for $5,000 from our friends at Slotomania. Jamie, tell them about it. Slotomania, the number one free-to-play slots game in the world, with millions of players and non-stop fun and excitement. Scan the QR code to download Slotomania now and find out what will today spin. Thank you, Jamie. Okay, Danielle, like Melissa said, you, you're going to crush it. I believe in you. You played a great game. Here's what you got to do for that $5,000. You need to correctly identify a person, a place, and a thing in 60 seconds. You can start with any category that you would like to. Guess as many times as you need. You correctly identify your person, your place, and your thing in 60 seconds. You got $5,000, and our super fan, Melissa, has $500. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, Danielle, I can tell you that your person is a newsmaker, okay? Your place is a U.S. city, and your thing is sports equipment. Let's start with place. You want to start with our, your place category, which is a U.S. city. Sounds good. Jamie, put 60 seconds on the clock. Okay, deep breath. Good luck to you, Danielle. Your time starts now. Is this place in New England? No. Is this place on the West Coast? No. Is this place in the South? No. Is this place in um, Minnesota? No. Okay. Is this uh, Seattle? No. Would you like a clue? Clue. This U.S. city is home to the Benjamin Franklin Memorial. Is this Washington, D.C.? No. Is it uh, Portland? No. Pass. Okay. Sports equipment. Uh, is this a team sport? Um, yes. Is this done in water? No. Is this a uh, winter sport? Yes. Is this skis? No. A clue? These are worn by athletes in multiple winter Olympic sports. Uh, skis? No. Um, uh, ice skates? Yes. Person is a newsmaker. You have a clue left? A clue? This person grew up in Los Angeles and was a briefcase model on Deal or No Deal. Oh, is it uh, Meghan Markle? Yes. Um, is this um, Seattle, Texas? No, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, fantastic job. That was a great, great job. Don't, don't frown. That was a wonderful job. So we were looking for this U.S. city. It's home to the Benjamin Franklin Memorial, Philadelphia. Uh oh. Philadelphia was what we were looking for. You got two out of the three. Well done. First time in the final round. And we are not going to send you home empty-handed, Danielle. Jamie, tell Danielle what she's won. An adults-only, all-inclusive getaway to the beautiful Wyndham Ultra Playa del Carmen. Escape to the Riviera Maya and indulge in oceanfront pools, world-class cuisine, spa, and live entertainment, all just steps from Fifth Avenue's famed shops, clubs, and restaurants. WyndhamRewards.com, the world's number one hotel rewards program. Okay, well, Danielle, I just saw you smile real big at that hotel stay. Are you excited about I'm that? I'm so excited. I am glad you are. And guess what else is exciting? You are coming back to play for another chance to win $5,000 as our returning champion champion and Melissa Melissa to Melissa thank you for being today's super fan remember people come on back to this place and do this thing see you next time you're still watching oh my god thank you well in that case be sure to stay up to date with person place or thing by smashing that subscribe button there's full episodes behind the scenes content and even a few surprises and they're just a click away you can go now